Greetings from the Appalachian Christian Center. I am Pastor Michael Biggs. Today I'd like to read a scripture out of the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 13. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Today we hear a lot about prayer. Our leaders are calling upon us to pray. Here in West Virginia, we had a National Day of Prayer. And without question, prayer is a good thing. Prayer is communication with God, someone we should be in communication with on a daily basis. There is no one better to have a conversation with than God Almighty himself. But how often have we seen this outcry for Americans to pray only to see America turn against God as soon as the problem we're facing has come to an end. We don't want God in our schools. We don't want him in our public places. We don't want him in our courtrooms. We've had the Ten Commandments removed from schools and courthouses and all public places. To the, time after time, when our nation has turned to God for the answer we need at the moment in time, our nation wants to turn against God as soon as the answer is delivered. When the coronavirus passes or a cure or vaccination is discovered and the threat is neutralized, will we no longer need God? I pray this is not the case. I do not believe for one moment that God has brought this disease upon the world or our nation, but I do believe that God is using this virus to turn America back to himself. I pray we will, we will respond in a positive manner. Jeremiah brings a message of repentance, of personal accountability to God, uh, dealing with a personal relationship with God. Oh, how I wish our nation would return to God and godly living. Again, I say, but I can only be held accountable for me. Each one of us will stand before God Almighty on Judgment Day, the righteous judge, and give an account of our lives. I will only give an account for my own life, not yours, and you will give an account of your life, not mine. God tells Jeremiah, and you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. The New Living Translation says wholeheartedly, not half-hearted, but not simply uh, because a president or a governor or a preacher somewhere has asked you to pray, but pray and seek God with your whole heart. Throughout the scriptures, we're told to seek God. A scripture about prayer that's very familiar with a lot of people is 2 Corinthians chapter, uh, or not 2 Corinthians, 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 7 and verse 14, which says, If my people will humble themselves and seek my face. Seek. That word seek has to do with putting forth an effort. Uh, Jesus said, seek and you shall find. Paul wrote in Colossians, seek those things which are above. That word seek has to do with striving, working towards, putting forth an effort, not just going through the motions. Psalms 119 is the longest chapter in all of the Bible. It's composed of 176 verses, and it's all about obeying God's word. It, it's filled with words like statutes, commands, uh, precepts, law. Verse 11 says, Your word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. In this chapter, dealing with the commands or the precepts or the law of God, we see the word whole heart appear more than one time. In fact, in verse 2, it says, Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him, with the whole heart. In verse 10, it says, With my whole heart I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Verse 34 says, Give me understanding and I will keep your law. Indeed, I will observe it with my whole heart. In verse 58, it says, I entreated your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful to me to your, according to your word. Verse 69 says, The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. Uh, in the Hebrew language, that word proud meant arrogant or showing a lack of respect. 
And I think oftentimes we show a lack of respect for God's word. And lastly, in verse 145 of this Psalms 119, it says, I cry out with my whole heart. Hear me, O Lord. I will keep your statutes. We need to be crying out to God. We need to be seeking God, but we need to be doing it with our whole heart. Uh, in the book of Matthew, as well as the book of, book of Mark, uh, when Jesus was asked, what is the great commandment of the law? He tells us that we were supposed to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, and with all our strength. He says, this is the first and the great commandment. At, at the, the time of Jesus, the law was still in effect, the law of offerings and the law of sacrifices. After he made this statement, of course, he went on to say the second commandment, uh, the second greatest commandment was to love thy neighbor as thyself. He then added this verse in Mark chapter 12 and verse 33. He says, and to love him with all the heart and with all your understanding, with all your soul and with all your strength and to love one's neighbor as yourself is more than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. Jesus said at a time when man was required to offer uh, sacrifices to God. He told them that to be able to seek God and to love him with all your heart was more important than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices that a man could make. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 24, 7 says, Then I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. I do pray that we, individually as well as uh, a nation, uh, will return to God with our whole heart. I, I pray that we're just not going through the motions of uh, saying a prayer, of, of hoping and wishing that this virus would go away and we can get back to normal, but that we are truly seeking God. I pray that you're seeking God with your whole heart and will continue to do so after this pandemic has passed. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, again, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all your many blessings. And Father, we pray that you would just continue to work in the hearts and the lives of your children. Father, we pray that you'll help us to focus our entire being upon you, that truly, as your word says, we will seek you with our whole heart. And Father, we pray that you will continue to work in the midst of this virus, this pandemic that we're going through. We lift up our uh, our leaders help them make wise decisions. We lift up our healthcare workers, our first responders, those who are on the front line. We just pray, Father, that you'll put a hedge of protection around them. Be with them. Father, we just ask your richest blessings upon each one that would hear our message today. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. We do hate that we're having to miss church. We miss all of our church family, and we pray that everyone is doing well. Uh, and if anyone needs anything at all, if there's anything we can do for you, please feel free to give us a call and we'll be glad to help you in any way that we can. God bless.